Hey, what's happening, guys? I got an idea. So here's a plain old Arduino Uno R3 and a breadboard. I've got some LEDs here. Two, four, six. And I got some 220 ohm resistors here. And we got some DuPont cables. So, bear with me here. Let's uh, let's plug these in. Putting the anode. Actually, I'm gonna come over here. Putting the anode on the upper half of the breadboard. Cathode on the lower half of the breadboard. skipping two spaces between them not that it matters but I did have a viewer once who said he was blind and he liked it when I explained where I was putting things so that's why I do that so six LEDs and six current limiting resistors. Right? You don't have to watch me do the rest of this. All right, the resistors are all in place. Now, let's connect these up to our PWM output, so Pin three. Pin five. Pin six. Pin 10, am I 10? Nope, I want nine anyway. Nine. Ten. And 11. And this completes the wiring for this little experiment. So we have our Arduino PWM pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 going to the anode of these yellow LEDs. The cathode goes through a 220 ohm current limiting resistor to ground. So now we need a sketch to run this. And what I want to try and create here is what's known as a Larson scanner. That was created by uh, TV producer Gary Larson for um, Battlestar Galactica, the, the original Cylons with that scanner in their helmet. It was also used in Knight Rider for the scanner on the front of Kit. I've done many of these. They're a really simple program to write. There's nothing to it, right? Okay. Well, here's where it gets interesting. I'm not going to write the program. You guys have heard of ChatGPT, right? The uh, artificial intelligence bot that can write music, it can write code. So, let's ask it to write this program for us. All right, so here we are. This is the ChatGPT interface. And let's ask it to write this program. Hmm, how am I gonna how am I gonna ask it to write this? Please write an Arduino sketch that uses the PWM pins 
on in Uno R3 to create a Larson scanner. Let's see what we get. And this is real time, by the way. Wow. Look at that. It's even got the fade in going. Then it goes backwards. And then it even tells you how the program works. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am super impressed. All right, let's copy the code. And I'm going to launch my uh, Arduino IDE. Okay, so here's the IDE. I'm just going to clear it out and put in... The chat GPT software. Let's save this. Save as. We'll call this chat GPT Larson scanner. Yeah, I got an error in there, I know. All right, let's verify the code. I won't make you watch it go through this. My computer's kind of slow doing this the first time I boot up the IDE. There we go, done compiling. It uses 4% of program storage space. Well, ChatGPT is already a much better programmer than I am. Oop, all right, I'm gonna plug in the Arduino. Then we'll go to tools, Arduino Uno, living on COM8. Well, that looks good. All right, let's, uh, let me get set up here to bring in the other camera as well. Okay, let's upload the code. And hopefully she'll start working. Uploading. Does not appear to have done anything. Hmm. Only got one LED lit. Let's reset it. I am flummoxed. Okay, it is actually working. But it is very, very slow. I think it's fading out now.
Okay. Let's go back over to the computer. All right. We're back at the computer. Let's talk to chat GPT again and tell it it's too slow. Again, we're in real time here. You can see it's changed the delay time to 10. That's interesting. Now, from what I've under what I understand, um, Chat GPT is simply a prediction engine. It predicts what the next word is going to be. So this is five times faster than the original. It also sets PWM frequency to pins three and eleven. This increases the PWM rate for these pins to make the LED transition smoother. Okay. Let's copy the code. Go back to the Arduino, repost it, resave it, re-verify it. Looks good. Let's ship it out. Now that is too fast. I got one LED that I put in the wrong place. That's the problem. There we go. All right, this time I am going to change the delay time. Let's change it to 25. Compiling, updating, still too fast, just for fun, 100. Let's see what we get here with 100. That's it. That's what I wanted. So, holy crap. Other than a small speed hiccup, it works. And I honestly don't know how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to ChatGPT. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.